Welcome, Oakland A's fans around the globe. My name is Dale Tafoya, and this is another episode of Athletics After Dark. It's Tuesday, March 5th, 2013, and this is podcast number 108. We want to welcome you Ace fans listening on YouTube, iTunes, our RASS feed, and our website, which is at athleticsafterdark.com. We're a podcast and blog that celebrates the past and embraces the future of Ace Baseball. I've had beat writers, players, photographers, broadcasters, and coaches on my show, but today I wanted to introduce a young lady fairly new to the Ace family. Her name is Alexi Melvin. She's an actress, model, and writer based in New York City, Los Angeles, and San Francisco, and she's also the daughter of Ace manager Bob Melvin, who has really turned this team around since he came here in 2011. And if you saw the photo of her on Facebook when we promoted today's show, She's donning the green and gold, and it just just excited about her raise these days. She's on the line with us. Alexi, thanks for giving us some of your time. Yeah, thank you for having me. I'm excited. Cool. First of all, your dad recently earned a two-year extension to manage the A's through the year 2000, and I, I just read in the paper that he purchased some property here in the Bay Area, and it sounds like he's decided to be a, a Bay Area resident. Congratulations to the Melvin household. Thank you so much. Yeah, we're all super excited. I'm excited to go out and, and visit all the time. You know, it's a it's a place. I, I was actually born in the Bay Area. Um, so, I'm yeah, I'm really looking forward to, to visiting more often. I love it there. Mm-hmm. So I need to ask you this. Since you're uh, an actress and you're familiar with the business, you know, the Oscars was a couple weeks ago. What did you think about the yeah. Oscars and, and any favorite movies this year that really moved you? <clears throat> Yeah, you know, it was a good year for movies, I feel like. Um, it was actually the first year in a long time that I'd pretty much seen, um, like, all the movies that were nominated. Um, so, you know, I definitely had to watch this year. I I guess the ones that really um, made an impact on me were Zero Dark Thirty, uh, The Impossible, and The Master. I really loved those. Um, uh, Jessica Chastain, Naomi Watts are two of my favorite actresses, and uh, you know their performances were just like unlike anything I've ever seen. And you know, so I was glad they were nominated. A little disappointed they didn't win. Um, and you know, the master was pretty much like a master class in acting, which is pretty cool. Um, so those those three were big ones for me. Tell but I think about- overall it was a good good show. Yeah, tell us about your acting career, Alexi. I mean, you're legit. You have a an IMDb page. Tell us how you got started in, in uh, your pursuits right now. Yeah, thanks. Um, I, You know, I've just always uh, been interested in, in the arts as a whole. And, you know, my mom and dad, um, you know, they sort of exposed me to, um, you know, theater and film from a really young age. And, you know, just always sort of stuck with me. So right after high school, I moved to New York and I went to um, the Lee Strasberg Institute, you know, studied there. Um, I've done some independent films. I've done, you know, some commercials, stuff like that. And, um, you know, now I'm just really trying to sort of build my resume, you know, meet some some other, you know, directors, actors, writers. Um, I'm working on a couple of screenplays as well, um, writing wise, which I also love to do. So. You know, it's uh, it's it's headed in a good direction, I have to say. Mm-hmm. And a movie close to, to close to home for many A's fans uh, was released a couple years ago, Moneyball. Are you a fan of any baseball mm-hmm. movies? And did did you see Moneyball? And what are your thoughts about it? Yeah, I did see Moneyball. I actually went to the premiere in Oakland, which wow. was pretty huge. Yeah, which and it was pretty um, it was pretty quick after my dad had had first started working for um, for Oakland, and it was just kind of like a whirlwind it was it was amazing to to get to see that i got to see, i got to see you know brad Pitt and um you know it was it was crazy i loved it and i do i, I really do love that movie um and uh i i'd say it was i think one of my favorites as far as as baseball movies go um but i also you know this is probably a, a typical answer for a girl but i love a league of their own <laughs> <laughs> and uh I mean, you know, I got to go with that one. But and also, I saw um, for the first time recently, I saw um, I saw Field of Dreams, and all my guy friends were like freaking out because I had never seen it before. <laughs> but I I really I liked that one too. Mm-hmm. I have the, to say. the voice you're hearing is Alexi Melvin, daughter of A's manager Bob Melvin. Uh, on Twitter, she's at at Alexi Melvin A L E X I Melvin M E L V I N. Sure, you know how to spell it out there. 
You know, Lexi, we spoke a few months ago, and you you were uh, in your dad with your dad living in the Bay Area while during the season. And I asked you if you discovered any schools, any cool spots to hang out there. You know, in the, in this beautiful area. And I expected you to say Walnut Creek, San Francisco, or Sausalito. But you said, yeah, I found the, a cool spot. It's the Oakland Colise- Coliseum. Explain to me what last year's A's season uh, did for you, because it was truly magical for many, many A's fans all around the world. Oh man, absolutely. Um, you know, last season is, it's, it's, you know, it's going to hard, it's going to be hard to beat that one. Um, I mean, started off with a bang, you know, going to Tokyo, that was something I'd, I'd never imagined being able to do, you know, with, with the baseball franchise. Um, you know, we did all the way up to the playoffs. Um, you know, th- that was just crazy. I can't even explain that in words, but I mean, I have to say what I appreciate most is um, the bands. You know, I've never experienced like such a sense of just support and community and, you know, just that last game when um, when Detroit won and, you know, the A's fans just immediately started chanting, let's go Oakland. Like that's that's the moment that's just sort of and it's going to be, you know, embedded in my mind forever. Mm-hmm. And when it, when a, a manager, a daughter of a manager is in the stands watching the game every day, I'm, I don't know, I'm not sure how many games you go to, go to, but I'm sure you go to a lot. Uh, what do you do? Mm-hmm. Are you, you on your iPhone a lot? Or are, you, are you watching the game? Or are you just snacking on some uh, some popcorn? What goes? Uh, what, do you, what are some of your activities in the stands? <laughs> um, you know, I really do. I like to bring friends and family. Um, you know, it, it sort of it sucks to kind of be there alone, you know, cause it's like, you know, it's my dad out there and it's, it's kind of stressful sometimes. Um, but you know, yeah, like I said, it's great to bring friends and family and just kind of talk and, and watch the game. Um, I'm not, you know, I try to stay off my iPhone. Um, <laughs> I guess the older, the older I get, the more I sort of come to appreciate the game. So, you know, I feel like I'm, I'm getting better at, at knowing what's going on and, and, you know, really paying attention to, um, you know, just, where they're headed and, and, you know, the plays and the players. And, you know, I'm really coming to, to enjoy it. Mm-hmm. You have a favorite ace player? Um, you know, I don't want to play favorites. They're all, they're all <laughs> awesome. But, but, um, I have to say that, um, you know, Coco Chris is pretty cool because he has probably the best name I've ever heard. So, <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I'll go with that. Okay. Uh, you know, being a daughter of, of a big leaguer, Alexi, um, and, and a daughter of a manager for quite a while, too, I'm sure you've traveled the country in different cities, you know, where your dad has worked. But coming to the Bay Area, and you mentioned this earlier, uh, it has some significance for you because you were born in Redwood City uh, in the mid-'80s uh, when your dad played for the Giants. Mm-hmm. That's right. Um, you know, I feel like sort of everything has – you know, come full circle in that respect. Um, you know, I'm just, and we're all just so grateful for it. Um, it's just, you know, it's, it's a place that's always going to be in my blood. So I couldn't think of anything better. And your whole life has pretty much been surrounded by professional baseball. Uh, what are some pros mm-hmm. and, and cons uh, of being a child of someone involved heavily in professional, professional baseball? Uh, let's start with the cons. The cons, uh, not seeing my dad as much as I would like, you know, he's, he's always, he's always somewhere else. Um, you know, we always, we kind of always had a home base in Arizona when I was growing up. Um, we moved there when I was about four. Um, so, you know, I always see him in the off season, which is awesome. But then we always sort of had like a summer home somewhere else. Um, you know, I just, I always wanted him around more. So that was probably the biggest con, um, but I think the pros definitely outweigh, you know, the negative stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, I feel like being the daughter of a baseball player slash coach slash manager is it sort of gave me my um, <laughs> my fascination and obsession with travel. Mm-hmm. I definitely blame that on my dad. I'm always if I'm like in one place for too long, I go insane. Mm-hmm. So I really do love the travel aspect. Mm-hmm. In baseball, you know, it's a game. Um, especially, uh, you know, professional baseball, it's fun, America's pastime. But but it's a shrewd business, too, you know, if, if, especially at that major league level. Do you ever get mad at the game sometimes? Sure. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm so connected to, to this, you know, to whatever team my dad is on, you know. It's, sure. it's never really – I can never really just sit there and, you know, enjoy the game. Um, 
which is sort of what I appreciate about spring training is because it's a little less, you know, pressure and stress and everything. Um, I mean, yeah, it's, it's hard to sort of be so surrounded by it as I am. Mm-hmm. And, and, you know, there's many fans, you know, a lot of A's fans and fans in general across the you know country are in these stands, but there's this family section, you know, that's there too. And you, and I'm sure it, mm-hmm. it can get pretty, um, pretty rough sometimes if some fans that maybe they don't know that you're a friend of the player or, you know, the daughter of a manager that may, you know, say some, you know, say some disrespectful things to the manager that that could get uh, pretty uh, dicey. I'm sure at times, or maybe hard to deal with. Yeah, absolutely. I've had some interesting experiences in that respect. Uh, I remember, you know, the world series when um, my dad was with the Diamondbacks against the Yankees. I mean, you, you can't imagine being in New York and, you know, they know where the family section is, you know, I mean, there's certain teams fans can just get brutal uh so yeah i mean there's um there's that's sort of part of the negative side of the business that's for sure mm-hmm. on your twitter feed this weekend it, it you were showing pictures of you were supporting your dad in arizona uh what do you like about mm-hmm. spring training when you go down there i'm sure you've been to many yeah i love it um i i like going back to um arizona for one because you know like i said it's mostly where i did most of my growing up and, you know, I like to visit my best friend, Erica, is still there. So, and we we love going to games. Um, you know, like I said earlier, it's it's very, you know, stress-free. There's there's not a lot of pressure. It's sort of like a like a social scene almost, you know, like a lot of those stadiums have the, the grassy areas. You can just kick back, you know. Um, and there's just a lot of, you know, there's a lot of support. There's a lot of different fans from for, you know, many different teams. And it just there's a lot of, you know, it feels just equal, you know. Um but yeah, and obviously the Arizona weather doesn't hurt. It's it's a fun time. Mm-hmm. I'm sure you're excited about the uh, the season. Your dad's uh, you know here via contract through 2000, 2016. Um, you excited about the uh, first half of the season and baseball in general coming up? Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I I haven't uh, I haven't been to um, I haven't been, I haven't been back to the Bay Area as as often as I'd like in the past couple months. So I'm I'm kind of chomping at the bit. I'm excited for it to get started. <laughs> Alexi, thank you for your time. Uh, tell A's fans how they can follow your career, whether it's acting, writing, or directing via social media or any any other avenues to show support for you. Yeah, for sure. Um, you can always go to my website, just aleximelvin.com. It has links to my Twitter and my Facebook. Um, but if you wanted to go directly to my Twitter, it's uh, Twitter slash Alexi Melvin. Um, or my Facebook uh, fan page is uh, Facebook slash Alexi Melvin official. Nice. Anything you want to tell uh, A's Nation before we go, Alexi? Uh, just, you know, look forward to a good season, you guys. It's going to be pretty epic. Alexi, thank you for joining us and giving us some of your time. Enjoy the rest of your spring. Absolutely. You too. Thanks so much for having me.